Um, last time we spoke to you was in Portsmouth when you went were on the the actual Black Pearl. Right. Um, and we kind of spoke to you after that, and uh, I think you were a little bit shaken after being on the boat. What was the like looking back on it now? What was that experience like? Um, it was. It was strange. I wasn't expecting to have to, to go racing, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know. And it was great. It was an incredible experience. I, I, you know, when would you ever have the chance to get involved in a round-the-world yacht race, mm. even though it was a very short leg of it? But, yeah, it was, it was great. Because we were saying at the time when we saw you that it was all these uh, sailors kitted out properly and you'd, you'd converse all-stars. <laughs> it was, uh, wasn't the best footwear to wear. I know. Well, yeah, it was, I, I wasn't really made aware that I was going to be taking part. But, yeah, they were, I was ballast or, or you know, I was, yeah. they were using my vast bulk to balance the ship. Rigetti makes his second appearance in the Pirates movie. Do you think the characters changed at all since the first instalment at all? Yeah, he seems to. I didn't really realise he had while we were filming, but but seeing the final movie and other people have said that he's, yeah, the role's sort of slightly bigger and he's he's become something of a philosopher in in the break between the two movies. I was yeah. going to say he comes across as kind of like this pseudo intellectual. He likes to think of himself as being quite intelligent. Yeah, yeah. It's cause somebody was recently comparing it to R two D two and C three PO. I'm not sure who's who's who in that uh, in, in that. Double X, because we both we both think we're intelligent, but we're both pretty well stupid. Yeah. Was it? Did you find personally? Was there a lot of pressure, um, either on you or on the set from the second movie, filming the second movie? Well, not on me. I, I didn't find any pressure on me. I, I guess it's probably on the writers more than anything, because the first one was such an unexpected hit that you know everyone to do a sequel, you're going to have to come up with the goods. Mm -hmm. And but I honestly think they have. And what was it like working with so many? Brits on the cast because it was predominantly a British cast, pretty yeah, much, wasn't it? It's really only Lee Arenberg and Johnny Depp that are uh, Americans. Um, well, it was great, yeah. I mean, I hope we made the, the few Americans there were welcome, but uh, we, yeah, we all hung out and, and became very good friends. And just finally looking forward to the third movie. I mean, Rigetti makes another appearance, doesn't yes. he? Yes. Yeah. yeah, and I've got, some, I've got some nice bits in part three. Can't give the, way, the game away, obviously, but, uh, but yeah, I've got some duties. Does he ever sort his eye out? That's uh, in fact that I don't even know if they're quite resolved because we've still got a bit yet left to do in part three, and there's lots of discussion about what should be Rigetti's closure eye-wise. Because that's that's the cliffhanger I'm waiting. Yeah. On, what yeah. do you think should happen? I think he should go. Yeah, I think he needs a nice new eye. A nice I think. new yeah. glass eye. It'll be a nice conclusion to the story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Good stuff. Yeah. Thank you for that. Thank you. Super. <laughs>